Hey everyone, it's Kim. I am just here to actually do a fail video. These are a couple of, or actually a few items that I have that were complete and utter um, failures in my book. Um, I don't normally, I don't normally choose to make videos to tell people about it, but I think I might start doing that because I've been doing makeup and using makeup for you know 20 plus years and I've encountered a little bit of everything so the makeup nowadays is um, you know really good quality and even the drugstore to the higher end but I just wanted to um, get on here at least um, right now and let you guys know about a couple of products that <clears throat> are on the market right now that I don't think is um, up to par with what they should be and um, let's see the first one is this Revlon Luxurious Color Smoky Crayon. And it looks like this. And I try to use it once and there's absolutely no staying power to this. There's, I mean, I have greasy eyes and underneath and some of the people I do makeup on, um, you know, it worked okay on, but if you notice, it's still pointy, so I haven't um, preferred to use it. So uh, I really don't like it, and I'm probably going to um, toss this aside. So again, it's the Revlon Luxurious Color Smoky Crayon in, um, it's black, black smoke. Next is this Maybelline New York Master Drama by iStudio Sapphire Strength Pencil. And I used it once and it stopped working on me and I can't even get it out but the time I used it I didn't like the um, texture of the pencil um, the staying power was okay but um, for me it wasn't good enough um, the color is pretty vivid but I'm trying to put it on my hand but it's really kind of dry and hard to put on um, and it's a sapphire blue, but it's, I don't know, it looks more like an aqua blue color, not a deep blue, um, which I was expecting. So this Maybelline Master Drama by iStudio Sapphire Strength, um, I do not like, and I'm going to be tossing this because obviously it's not working. And I don't remember where I got it, otherwise I'd take it back because um, most drugstores have that policy where you can take back um, used makeup if it doesn't fit you. Um... Next is this Shaney Cosmetics, um, what was supposed to be a sponge tip applicator. And I got this on Amazon.com with a, um, a bunch of different other brushes. And those actually are doing okay, the other ones, but this one, it just fell out and... I mean, I probably can fix it, but it was inexpensive enough not to. And you can go buy those little sponge tip applicators at um, the drugstore, Target, or whatever. Um, so this is a fail. And then this Rimmel Exaggerate, what is it? Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner Definer. And I think I did a video on this and it broke on me there. And I've, you know, done used it um a few times after that and it is the driest the crumbliest um the least long lasting even though it says long lasting full color lip liner this color is okay it's um addiction but you know it's supposed to be a uh, flat at an angle and you use it and it pops right off and I did it like seven or eight times and it still popped off so this one's going in the trash too so this is Rimmel Exaggerate um, full color lip liner and last is this Soho um, eyeshadow brush um, that I got at Walmart and it is absolutely the worst quality brush that I've ever seen the first use I put it on my eyes and I got um, brush fibers all over my eye. It was just disgusting. And I didn't wash it. I, I mean, I spritzed it a little bit to um, kind of, um, 
you know, sanitize it before I use it just in case and let it dry. But still, I mean, it's disgusting. It keeps coming out. It looks like it's uh, fur shedding from like an animal. So anyways, the Soho um, eyeshadow brush, major fail. Don't like it at all. So that was it for now. Um, I hope you guys um, got some information out of that. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'll be back with more videos soon. See you guys later.